What's up, you guys? Welcome to my backyard. Let's read some energy. For those of you who don't know who I am already, my name is Mary. Hello! To everyone who already knows who I am, hello everyone! Um, I'm a psychic and a medium and a channel, and tarot cards talk to me sometimes, and we're just going to tap into that right now. So don't forget to like and subscribe! Ancestors of Highest White Light, what is the message? You guys remember that all of my readings are general readings, too. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. And all of my readings are also timeless. Because energy is not linear like time, okay? Okay, I feel like somebody has been caught in their head. Somebody's been stuck in their head with the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. Um, okay, this could go a couple different ways, actually. Okay, so somebody's been stuck in their head, and somebody's just, like, released this. It's like somebody's been fighting with themselves for a while. Somebody could have also been fighting with... A karmic too like this could also be like you let go of a karmic energy which actually gave somebody more clarity okay this could be somebody that you're in a relationship this could be I'm getting that it's more of like a feminine energy I feel like it could be somebody's parent it could be a masculine energy too because we have the lovers here as well so what else? Spirit ancestors of Highest White Light. That's awesome. That's great. I feel like whenever we we release, um, you know, any any energy or any anything that doesn't serve us, it really does make us feel lighter. Like our consciousness feel lighter. Hi, Nina. Hello, baby girl. This is Nina, everyone. If you guys don't already know, we're gonna start with Nina. That's my little baby girl. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Good girl. Yes. Oh, I love you so much. Good girl. Okay, sorry. I have to pet her. It's a little... What else? Spirit and Sister by Sweet Light. So somebody's feeling a little more at peace. Somebody's, somebody's feeling pretty good. Somebody's also getting ready to start on the next leg of their journey. journey. I just was hearing journal. Maybe somebody needs to journal. Um, or maybe somebody was journaling and this helped. Okay, I feel like whoever you are, you are somebody who is very intellectual. But I do feel like you, you um, have been learning how to flow a little bit better. Like surrendering, really. And I'm also... You know what? This is interesting. I have my... Oh, this is very interesting. Surrender and psychic. I was literally just going to say, I feel like somebody understands, um, can see things that are supposed to happen in the future, and it's like, so sometimes I feel like that's almost why they're controlling. I don't feel like whoever this person is, I don't really feel like they are such a controlling person, but more so it's just like, somebody's trying to see if things are aligning the way that they are supposed to align but um that was actually creating some um interference with regards to the way that the universe was manifesting oh that's very interesting so it's almost like you were trying to manifest what you were seeing that was supposed to come to be you were trying to manifest it you were working against the universe to manifest something okay that's very interesting in essence, really, but you've given up, you've, you've surrendered to the universe, and the universe is just, is working itself out, really, for you, in your favor. What's yours is yours. It will always be yours, okay? It can never be taken away. So this is beautiful. So this is, this really was a lesson of faith for somebody, okay? Okay. 
So whoever you are, I do feel like, so whoever you are, you're very intellectual. I do feel like you have kind of recognized that your, intel, your, your intellect mixed in with the experiences that you have had has, has actually made you hypervigilant, a little hypervigilant. Somebody's realizing this and recognizing this. And there is a very thin line between being too hypervigilant to the point where it's kind of getting in the way of, like we're saying, the universe. Okay, so that's, I feel like that's kind of what somebody is learning. It's also like, I'm hearing like, just because you know it or just because you, like, it's like somebody's receiving a download and then it's like they're like oh this is supposed to happen immediately you know but sometimes it's the universe is, is just trying to show you so that the universe can prove itself to you so to speak right so um I don't know why I'm going there but it's something about like somebody um I'm seeing a feather here too, like black and brown, interesting, and white, black, brown, and white, or like red, anyways, it's neither here nor there, um, what else, do I, let's pull some more cards, I think I was supposed to share a story about myself, but it just, it fell right out of my head, so we'll see if it comes back, okay, yeah, it's almost like somebody was, there, there were, um, What's the message? Okay, whatever this is, whatever you did, whether you separated yourself from somebody, whether you, you know, released a part of yourself that no longer served you, this is going to help you moving forward on your path. Somebody might be also planning on having a baby. Or might be pregnant. You guys, let me know if this resonates at all in the comments below, okay? Or maybe somebody is wishing for a baby. Somebody wants to have a baby. Maybe that's their path, too, okay? It's almost like somebody's been hyper vigilant, but they've also been like hyper vigilant on the astral plane. Like, but it's taking away from the physical experience. So it's almost like spirit was postponing this manifestation, really. So that you, it's almost like, it's almost like, <laughs> it's like the universe and you are like playing games with each other. Like, no, 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 I want it this way. And the universe is like, nope, sorry, we're going to do it this way. And you're like, no, 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 this is how I want it. And the universe is like, nope, sorry, we're going to do it this way. This is the way it's going to have to be. Like, and it's almost like the universe, it's, it's so, somebody just needs to learn how to live. Somebody, somebody is too fucking magical and somebody knows that they're so fucking magical and somebody just needs to learn how to live again, learn how to live a physical life again. And to be honest, this is very interesting. This, this to me sounds like somebody who's very psychic, somebody who's very extrasensory, somebody who's very self-aware, somebody who has gotten to that point. It's almost like you've become so, you need to become human again. I don't know how else to say it, but especially if somebody is planning on having kids too, because obviously you, you want to be able to raise a child to be able to, to ground them into the physical world, right? You know, we're multidimensional, right? And, and, you know, you do want, you know, you want people to know about all of that as well, but you, you do need to be grounded and, and to be able to be relatable, especially if, if you're, if you are, if somebody is planning on having a family or even just being in in a dynamic, in a, um, in any type of an interpersonal dynamic, right? Um, <laughs> I'm, I like this reading a lot, because I, I think it's great. Go ahead with your magical ass. But, um, yeah, wow. It's just, it's a really powerful energy, you guys. Somebody is walking away from a past. Uh, 
you could be, I was just hearing past relationship. You could be walking away from a past relationship that you noticed that you were just, it was gossipy, gossipy. I don't know how else to say it, but it was like, it was so 3D. Maybe like somebody is, like it was so 3D. Um, Hmm. What's the message? But the the message is is that even though it was three D, three D is not all ego. Not everyone is like that, right? Three D. It was it was not only it's it's like somebody is saying that that really I'm walking away because they're too three D. Like that's what I'm hearing, okay? But it's not even like that. It's like I'm walking away because there was too much ego or there was too much trauma or there was too much healing that needed to take place and our journeys were like separate like that's that's their journey this is my journey but it's like it's like somebody has an idea that 3d is bad it's not bad the 3d is not it's not bad it's just you know we're all learning this is but um ego and you know not taking accountability that is bad and that that seems to be what this karmic energy was it was in that regard very 3D, but but bad 3D, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I feel like somebody needs to know that like 3D is not it's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm 3D. We're all 3D, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So whatever this relationship was, it did kind of make somebody like lose faith in... Maybe somebody lost faith in the 3D. Okay. So then they, they went all up in, in their magic. Like... Like, I don't give a fuck. This is who I am. <laughs> okay, is somebody trying to scare away people by being, like, extra? I mean, if you scare them away by being extra, that means that you're not extra. You're just, like, too much for them. You're not too much, okay? But, like, what else, spirit? Okay. Because, I mean, if this is you, I'm proud of you. I Do it. Do what the fuck you want. <laughs> what else, spirit? Ancestors of the Highest Light. I do feel like somebody, I'm hearing like trauma bonding. There was just a lot of like gossiping or something like that. It could be an ex-relationship. It could be an, a, like a, it could also be like somebody's parent. And it's just like, it was, I feel like it was kind of getting in the way of your manifesting as well. But it's like, now we're getting ready to manifest. Like now you are getting ready to manifest some really great things. You've released all of this. You're aligning with your path. You've, you're like... You're like the high priestess on freak, or freak, I don't know, maybe something's freaky, but uh, you're like the high priest or the high priestess on fleek. You're like, I have the empress in the reverse position. It could be a narcissistic parent. It could be a narcissistic mother. I do feel like somebody's like at this lower frequency though when you were hanging out and around these people y your creative energy was kind of being like it was being sucked dry like you can't really get sucked dry right but it was just you were putting too much energy into I'm hearing like helping people solve their problems which is nice that's good but you have to you know um make time for yourself too and if you're doing that for everybody else then you're you're not going to have the energy at the end of the day to be able to help yourself so much or so to speak so it's good so you've separated yourself you've separated yourself you've embraced your magic starting to have more faith Surrendered to the flow of the universe. <laughs> ah! And there was a delay. But things are moving forward. Yeah. be an air sign but 
things are moving forward. So we've got the judgment card here. We've also got the four of swords. So I definitely feel like somebody just, you know, you might need some time for rest or meditation or just deep in introspection, okay? I don't know, maybe this reading helped to activate some things in you to kind of help with that process, but I, I feel like you are being divinely guided to move forward. What else, spirit? But somebody's just feeling a little emotionally drained. Because you just got through... You just, you just liberated yourself from this shadow, from this shadow aspect of you. Maybe somebody's a people pleaser. I just heard people pleaser. If you just take what resonates. Um, what else? Yeah, I think from like a broken home. The Ten of Pentacles here. So this was mirroring out into somebody's reality. I feel like this is this is really what you're you're also learning this as well. And we've got this chick. You know, she's getting ready to. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's a relationship coming for you. I feel like. I feel like somebody's still a little depressed. But your guides are with you. Helping, trying to help you understand this. Whoever you are. What else for your answers to my life? Mm -hmm. You might be an earth sign as well. Cards are not gender specific too, just so that you guys know. So, you know, you could be male or female. Um, I feel like you have a lot of abundance that's coming towards you. Um, it's just, the I'm hearing just stop fighting with the universe and just let things flow. You're a very powerful manifester. You know that you're a very powerful manifester too. Like you've seen yourself manifest some amazing things is what I'm seeing. But now the universe is working for you to manifest something even bigger than you have even manifested for yourself and anything like something even bigger than you I'm hearing can even imagine that you could manifest and that's also why it's like somebody's fighting with the universe and they're manifesting because they don't understand that what the universe has planned for you is like so much bigger than what you are visualizing so I feel like that is the reading. I hope that this helps somebody, anybody. I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope that you're doing really, really amazing. Welcome to my backyard. It's kind of cute, right? We've got a little cat condo community over here. I've got some stray cats that I feed and my little, got some kale over here and stuff. And yeah, welcome. <laughs> and thanks for being here. And thanks for all of your support. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.